Despite the just concluded by-elections being a win for the National Alliance and the Orange Party in their respective turfs, the real test appears to have been in Kajiadu North, chiefly due to its cosmopolitan nature. A victory that nonetheless now points to the 2013 general election and focus shifts to how it will lean. It now appears that the 2013 polls may just boil down to a two-horse race. The March poll will not simply be a walkover to the presidency. Sentiments shared by Prime Minister Raila Odinga. The pattern has clearly emerged. What I have described as a two-horse race. I don't think that there is any doubt in anybody's mind anymore that is truly <laughs> the horses are out of the stable. <laughs> and it showed that uh, Uhuru was better prepared than all of them. And if he is better prepared, then he is a force to reckon with. There are those who should uh, take their hint and just retire peacefully. <laughs> But while Uhuru's newly formed party, TNA, has flexed its muscle in central Kenya, a tough political battle lies ahead. Uhuru Kenyatta's recent gains may perhaps egg him on in his bid for the top seat, which is fraught with numerous challenges, among them the fact that he hails from the same community President Kibaki comes from. It cannot be his downfall, but what it has done is to send a message to all the other candidates. They need to go back to the drawing board. They have five months. Clinching the Kangema and Kajadu North seats could either boost Uhuru's efforts in the quest for formidable alliances to stop Raila from ascending to power. But on the flip side, it could be a wake-up call to his fellow state house contenders of the need to put every effort into ensuring they carry the day instead. Jackie Maribe, News It Takes.